Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we need to figure out how to simplify these expressions. We're going to use the same rules as we do with non-rational exponents, but now let's see if we can apply them to the rational exponents. It makes it a little bit more challenging. In our first example, notice the base are the same, so we can add the exponents when we multiply. So this becomes 3 to the 1 fourth plus 1 half power. Now we need to add those two fractions. We need the common denominator, which is 4. So this can be written as 3 to the 1 fourth plus 2 fourths by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So this can be written as 3 to the 3 fourths power. And that cannot be simplified any further than that. On the next example, notice we're dividing here. So we have to subtract exponents. This becomes 7 to the 3 fifths power minus 9 fifths. Luckily here, the denominators are the same, so we can simply subtract. This is equal to 7 to the 3 minus 6, which is minus 6 over 5. And then we can take that negative exponent, write as a positive exponent by moving that to the denominator. So this becomes 1 over 7 to the 6 fifth power. Coming over here, notice uh, we have this whole thing raised to the 6th power. Here, the rule is that the exponents need to be multiplied in the numerator, so this becomes a to the 2 thirds power times 6, b to the 1 half power times 6, all divided by a squared times b. And then multiplying this, that, uh, that's 12 divided by 3, which is 4, so we get a to the 4th, and we get b to the 3rd power divided by a squared b to the first power, which can be written as, this is a to the 4 minus 2, b to the 3 minus 1, because when we divide, we subtract exponents, and finally, this can be written as a squared b squared as our final simplified answer. Over here, again, we need to apply the exponent rule, so when we have an exponent, a to an exponent, we multiply exponents, but it applies both to the numerator and the denominator. So this can be written as a to the minus 5 over 2 times 8 power divided by b to the 3 over 4 times 8 power. And here, 2 goes into 8 4 times, so this becomes a to the minus 20 divided by b to the 6 power. And again, just like before, negative exponents can be turned into positive exponents by moving them to the denominator. So this is equal to 1 over a to the 20th power b to the 6th power, and that's the final reduced form of that expression, and that is how it's done.